Hello my soccer universe. Well, last part of the league uh, uh, jersey review and I gotta say, yeah, I'm doing this now still during daylight, so slightly different light as we usually have. You usually do it when the sun has already been down, but yeah, I am slowly recovering. I still feel kind of blah most of the time, so I decided to do it now uh, while I still have some energies and maybe have an early night, let's see, or do something more fun. I am wearing my 2018 France home jersey, which is the first jersey in my collection that I actually reviewed on this channel, and it's a video that I'm, yeah, I'm not very proud of, but it's the first one. I will not replace it. This jersey will feature some other ways. Um, short story, I'm very proud I got. This was the first jersey of the 2018 World Cup that I got ahead of the World Cup. All the others I got during or after the World Cup. So incredibly proud that I picked the World Champions because now you cannot really get this jersey anymore. I also this time did not forget to put the scarf back there, not, which is featured in this video. So since I don't have a nonce jersey, you at least have a nonce scarf. And I will tell you tomorrow in a video about all the French soccer scarves that I have. It's very PSG heavy and I'll tell you also why that, but I'll tell you also the story about the others that I have. Let's get right to it. And we'll store, start with Angers, who are uh, celebrating the centenary last year, 2019. And for that, there we get the black and white home jersey by Kappa, of course, with gold applications. How you would celebrate a 100 year uh, anniversary has become kind of standard. But I have to say, uh, this jersey looks really nice black and white stripes. Um, maybe the sides here, the last white goes a little bit too white, but other than that, I really cannot find anything better. I even like that the sponsor is black and white and it's not on a shield. It's actually just the letters and since it has the white outline, it actually fits really nicely in that. It's a very, very nice and clean copper jersey. Um, yes. The part where the shoulders are and the sleeves are only black, that maybe is a little bit bothersome. Also, there's something here on the shoulders black, so it's not the perfect, but it's a really nice one. I'm gonna go for eight stars for that one. The away jersey, if you look at it, um, is kind of a gray and gray version that has been wiped away. And that's literally, it has been wiped away. It has been worn once. The coach said, I don't see the player can, cannot see each other. We're not gonna wear this anymore. That's how bad this jersey is. Uh, we heard the story before, yeah. Manchester United had a great jersey that was never, uh, that was used for only one half. And literally, with this swirly effect in there, you have to say, yeah, this got wiped away. Um, and there's really not much to like on this one. Uh, look at this four short collar, then how the, it uh, cannot really decide how far it goes and so on. It is a mess. I don't like the colors. The sponsor is hideous on here. That's a two star better forgotten. What we should not forget though is the actual centenary jersey uh, that Kappa released which just looks freaking awesome. Uh, this is as classic uh, soccer kit as, as it gets. Is it um, very fancy? Well you have the nice granted color. I like that a lot. Um, I like that it's white and then you have just SCO for <laughs> the written in black letters and then even the Kappa logo is kind of kind of ghosted. A uh, really nice historic shirt. If this was worn all season long, I'm not sure how much I would like it, but for a one-time celebrate, celebratory uh, occasion, this is a really cool jersey. And I think it's also befitting of... I don't want to give it the full marks because it's not all that exciting, but for, given that it is an almost perfect historic representation, not knowing now the total history of it, but it really looks great, I give this nine stars. Let's move all the way to the northwest to Brest, who have been uh, promoted, have Nike jerseys, who use actually this template that I'm wearing here, just uh, red on red. Uh, yeah, this is your typical French jersey. In France, I have to say, I find many teams, and we saw this already in the last video, just one colored uniforms, and then you slap a crest on it and a bunch of sponsors, and that's it. That's exactly what this jersey does. Uh, maybe the uniforms, are the um, not the uniforms, the... Um, sponsors are going a little bit too wild here. I actually love the crest that is centered, but I, other than that, um, especially the main sponsor is a little bit too crazy for my liking. 
for that reason, yeah, uh, where shall I go with this one? I, I want to go four stars with it. I mean, it's, again, not if offensive, but it's also nothing great. I have to say that thanks to a sponsor change, the away jersey in black looks a lot better. First of all, the crest pops because it remained in red. We have the same, uh, same sponsors here. It has just been a little bit... Uh, Rearranged, you know, the main sponsor from the home home jersey moved now up here. You also see this little hermaning um, down on the jersey, which is also a nice touch. It was also on the home jersey, but here it pops a little bit more. And I have to say, yeah, with Marlow with the tower and the castle on there, that actually looks pretty darn cool. So here the sponsor enhances this, and I want to go even as far as six stars on that one. And then the third jersey, the same thing in white, and I have to say, I cannot fault this either. This is a six-star jersey. Um, the home jersey is the worst one of these. I, I know it should be red, uh, but they, they could have done a little bit more. Those uh, home, uh, the, the away and the third jerseys, they actually look the part. Are they exciting? No, but they actually do something uh, with... Um, with it by just having a different sponsor and this is a, an example where a sponsor can make or break a shirt i actually love this castle on there it looks very very french in a way time to go a big boy probably with the big boy one of the i mean marseille easily is one of the best supported teams in europe and one of the most fanatic uh, fan bases now for a second year with Puma and last year's Puma shirt was a little bit more of the template here. We get the white Marseille jersey with uh, pinstripes in light blue. I have to say I really, really like this one. And then a little bit of golden applications on there. Yes, there's then the Uber Eats uh, uh, on there with in black um, from a match with VVH. We don't hear, but I actually don't think this looks in any way bad. I have to say I really, really like that one. Um, shall I go crazy? Nah, maybe a little bit more light, light blue, but this is a nine star jersey. Where I really will go crazy is this wonderful cup home jersey or 120 years jersey. Um, yes, the blue cross that's all what it is about, and this is straight from the flag of Marseille. Um, I'm not so crazy that the, the um, logos have a little bit goes out where the OM logo could actually pop a little bit more. I think if that would have been gold or even in light blue, I would have loved it that I want this jersey. But the sponsor, and I'm not sure if they had it in uh, orange uh, on there or some U Uber Eats or whatever, but uh, that one blue is fine and then the Puma cat out. But I absolutely love the clean design with the cross and then the um, uh, light blue neck. This is as great as a jersey as you'll find this year in France 10 stars uh, the away jersey again without sponsor um, light blue as you would, would expect by then it has kind of this weird effect on there um, I have a feeling this might have been inspired by some architecture around Marseille maybe by the stadium itself maybe by the sea maybe this is kind of the you know I can interpret a lot of things it's cool cool with the seagulls flying over the sea or some, something like that it's a cool jersey and I like the colors um, with the with those colors. I mean, I have to have, I have to say um, at the beginning of the nineties when Marseille was this big foe of Milan and kind of the nemesis, I could not stand Marseille. But over the years, this, I have developed kind of a soft spot for Marseille as well. Um, and their jerseys are usually really, 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 really nice. <laughs> it's a straight nine star again. The only thing I don't like is the third jersey. Uh, black with orange you know already when you see if you've seen my La Liga jersey review the Valencia jersey was already hideous this is not as bad but why orange why orange I know you have a new sponsor you don't have orange anymore I and that's why I think we don't have the sponsor deal because when I got uh, from the time when I got those I think they were about to switch the sponsor to the Uber Eats um, well, also, fun, fun, fun story. It was originally planned to be very colorful, and then the Marseille fans said, "No, no, 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 no! You cannot do this to our jersey." And then they made it just black. Great thing. No, this doesn't work. This uh, black, okay, but then put blue. Don't put orange in there. I know Marseille has been putting orange on jerseys and so on. I just never really, really like that combination for that reason. Sorry, Marseille. I can only give you five stars for that one. And then we come to Nantes, um, which have a logo change, which is already the one that's going a little bit for the worst. I really like this logo with the ship. 
that's one that I really really like. I understand what they're trying to do with that logo, this kind of the Juventus approach, kind of make it a little bit more stylish and then they also put the Hermelin pattern in there. What I really like here is that they went for the um, green yellow striped look, which is the one that I like most for Nantes. Uh, the first time I really saw Nantes was in the Champions League campaign 95-96 when they played against Juventus and I remember those great striped jerseys, uh, they just popped and since then I have kind of this soft spot for now, in addition that they have one of the nicest stadiums and I'll tell you a story about that one uh, in France, which unfortunately they well, like, seemingly get, get rid of. But this is not perfect, uh, because the stripes are there and not really there. Uh, you know, they are gradient stripes, so I'm not too happy about that and then all the red sponsors. Make those sponsors green! for crying out loud. Follow the crest and the New Balance logo and then don't put this red on there. Make this dark green and it looks perfect. This way uh, does not excite me. And then, you know, with the striping uh, also, uh, it's kind of this fade. It gets darker, brighter, darker, brighter. Yeah, the stripes are there, but not really there. And for that reason, I think this uh, jersey is more of a mess than anything else. Four stars. I think I gotta give this four stars and I'm really sorry because I really like my knot. Um, I have to say the away jersey looks a whole lot better and pays direct reference to the seafaring theme that we have in Nantes, you know, with the ship here. And then I remember when I first saw them, they had also this kind of wave in there. Here we have a wavy pattern symbolizing the sea. I love this jersey. This is a really ener looks energetic and also, uh, you have the sponsors in white, it actually makes sense. Now, what would make more sense? Yellow. I would vote, if we would get yellow here, I would give a higher grade. But other than that, I think this rule looks really nice. Uh, yes, we have a, I think it's a lime green that we have here on the sleeve, so... Mm, just not quite, just not quite. I'm gonna give this jersey... I think if this was yellow, we would talk about nine... Uh, I give it 8 stars because I really like this swirly pattern, the waves in there. Um, that's something different, but it makes a whole lot of sense. And then they had a um, Salah tribute jersey, uh, you know, Emiliano Salah, the guy who changed to Cardiff and then uh, crashed in a plane on the way there, uh, Argentinian. And they basically took the home jersey and tried to make an Argentina jersey out of there. But this is where the design really messes up with it because you don't see the light blue. Uh, I think it would have been better if they have taken a light blue jersey and made white stripes on it. I think that would have popped a little bit more. Um, yes, it's a non jersey. It's not a typical non jersey. And I, as a one off, I totally understand what they're doing. They even went at the sponsors and everything is tone in tone. So it is not as garish as the home jersey. Makes it look a whole lot better. It's a great jersey, no. So for that reason, I'm going to give this six stars. I hope not is doing better next season. And then the last team is a team that we already saw in the Europa League jersey review. It's Saint Etienne, who went with the latest Le Coq Sportif um, jersey uh, template, which we always saw at Fiorentina. A template that I'm not so sure about. I mean, this on top, this looks like the top of a cape, like superhero or whatever, but not in a good way. Uh, you know, this. Con, concave, uh, convex shape, I think if it goes like that, more like a raglan sleeve, it would make a whole lot more sense. But we saw it already with Cameroon. Um, I have to say on the green jersey, it does not bother me as much because, uh, yes, they are two tone, tone, tone green, but I think you can get away with it. Similar as what Fiorentina was doing. I also like that they have the French flag out there because, you know, the Santa Etienne jerseys, you always imagine a French flag trim somewhere there. Uh, Sponsor-wise, it's not all that crazy either, but it's just a little bit above average. I mean, it's what you would expect. The flag trim really pulls this jersey up for me. And also the Le Coq Sportif logo kind of has the French flag in there. For that reason, I stick with the six stars that I gave it. On the away jersey, though, this is really where... This could be a great jersey. <laughs> Make a shoulder yoga, then green sleeves. Wow, this would look great. But it really accentuates a template that I absolutely dislike. 
I'm sorry, it really does not work for me. It's not a bad choice because I really like this green-white color combination, but I cannot give this more than the four stars that I've uh, given before. And then the third jersey, yeah, gray. Gray, I mean, it's just, uh, it looks cheaper. There's not, there's not even the flag or whatever. I think it's green and white where the flag is on the home, home jersey. It just does not, does not excite me. This is so average, so boring. I actually wonder why I gave it five stars. Um, I can't see maybe why, because it provides the contrast and so on. So it's a decent jersey. Um, nah, I got to lower this to four. I'm sorry. I really, I hate gray jerseys, especially if they're just plain gray. And with that, we ran through all the jersey of Ligue 1 uh, this season so far. Uh, let me know in the comments below if I've missed any, any jersey because I'm very willing to make more uh, v videos. I know the next week I made myself the task of digging up any other jersey in any other leagues that have been used that I have not uh, in the top four leagues that I have not talked about. So I really want to do that. Um, also, so I might include something here. Also, drop a comment below whether you agree or disagree with my ratings, which jerseys you like and dislike. I really would like to hear from you. I love chatting with my subscribers, to be honest. Not always find the time, but when it comes, uh, I will answer. I always will answer. It's just I'm kind of busy these days. And yeah, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like these. And I will talk to you soon. Bye and au revoir. Hey there. I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will give you all the updates, all things that rotate in my soccer universe. And with that, I'm gonna wish you a very good day. Bye!